Hey guys, it's me, Miss Eason, and I'm going to show you how to play Coordinate Grid Battleship. So first you need a half sheet of grid paper, and you're going to fold it in half, just like that. Open it back up, and you are going to start by making your game board on the bottom of this piece of paper. So you're going to start by making an origin in the bottom left-hand corner. Draw your x-axis out from the origin. And of course, draw your y-axis up from the origin. You're then going to number the x and the y-axis from 0 to 10. Please remember that the 0 is at the origin, and you are numbering the lines, not the spaces. Now you're looking at the top of your game board and you are going to do the exact same thing to the top that you did to the bottom. Alright, it's time to set up your game board to play. So on the coordinate grid at the bottom of your page you're going to write your name. This is the ocean where you're going to keep your ships. The first ship you are going to place has two points, so I'm going to put two points on my coordinate grid right next to each other. Then I'm going to find the ordered pair that matches those two points and put them over to the side. This is my first boat, so I'm going to draw a little rectangle to represent that boat and put a rectangle around those ordered pairs. Next, you're going to make a boat that has three points, a boat that has four points, and a boat that has five points. Make sure you write the ordered pairs over to the side. Once you've placed all of your boats in your ocean, a two, three, four, and five point boat, it's time to find a partner. Now, when you play with your partner, you will have your game boards facing this way so that they can't see where your boats are. But just for this video, I'm going to keep both papers flat on the table so you can see what to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write my partner's name on the top part of my game board. So I'm going to play with Miss Owen, so Miss Owen's name would go at the top of my paper and my name would go at the top of her paper. Miss Owen's is going to go first and she is trying to find an ordered pair that is going to send a cannonball into one of my boats. So her first guess was the ordered pair 8-3. On my paper, I'm going to go to the origin, go across to 8, and up to 3, and I don't have a boat there, so it's a miss, so I'm going to mark that with an X. Miss Owens is going to do the same thing on the top part of her paper to show that she guessed 8, 3, and it was a miss. Now it's my turn. I'm going to choose an ordered pair that I think will hit one of Miss Owens' boats. So I'm going to choose the ordered pair 10, 2. Miss Owens would look at her chart and make an X on 10, 2. And I would make an X on mine once she told me that that was a miss. You and your partner will continue calling out ordered pairs back and forth until someone hits one of your boats. You can see in this next section, when Miss Owens calls out an ordered pair that hits my boat, I put an X over top that section of my boat and I cross it out on the side. She will then mark it on her paper as a point instead of an X 
That way she knows where my boat is. Once your partner has guessed all the ordered pairs to go with one of your boats, you will let them know that they have sunk your ship. Once you are ready to play, go ahead and take out your math journal and you're going to use this to prop your game board on. This will help you keep your game board to yourself and your partner won't be able to see them and also give you something to write on. So have fun and I will see you later.